San Diego City Council members are working to make sure millions of dollars from an opioid settlement actually go toward addressing the crisis. Our Misha Bono is live for us outside of City Hall with more on this discussion this evening. Misha. Yeah, Andrew, good evening. The fentanyl crisis having a devastating impact on cities across the nation. The same here in San Diego. So this settlement provides some relief and opportunity to help, but now it's up to the city to decide where those funds will go. San Diego City Council members Marnie Von Wilpert and Raul Campillo held an opioid crisis response roundtable meeting Wednesday to hear from key stakeholders and experts about how to best allocate the first installment of settlement funds from opioid manufacturers. We have seen hundreds of thousands of people dying across our nation of opioid overdose. The city will receive about $40 million over the next 18 years, and there are still outstanding cases, so more money will be on the way. This year, the city has $4.4 million in the mayor's June 12th budget. Councilmember Von Wilpert and Campillo want to make sure the money goes where it's needed. In the city of San Diego alone, the introduction of fentanyl has led to a staggering 2,345% increase in fatal overdoses in the last year. We are up from 33 deaths in 2016 to nearly 1,000 deaths in 2021, and we haven't even gotten the statistics in from last year. The four main takeaways echoed by both council members were a greater need for resources in early education and intervention, outreach, access to treatment, harm reduction, that's Narcan, better connectivity of all resources available, and reducing the stigma, something Campillo could speak to from personal experience. The idea of shame and embarrassment came up over and over again. 20, in the year 2014, uh, my older brother Alex passed away from an opioid uh, overdose, an accidental overdose. Uh, I know what that feels like, to wonder what more I could have done. Under the conditions in the settlement, at least half the funds must be spent on substance abuse programs. In Mayor Todd Gloria's current budget, funds will go towards 66 residential drug treatment beds, 75 spaces for drug diversion and connection to drug treatment, that's the city's PLEADS program, and fully equipped vehicles for EMTs and police equipment to test and track fentanyl. So the city council has wrapped up five days of budget review hearings. The public can now weigh in during tonight's meeting, but this is far from over. The mayor then next week will release his revised budget and then deliver it to the city council. Who on June 12th will have meetings again, public hearing, and then eventually a vote. From downtown San Diego, Misha Bono, Fox 5 News.